for the game. Come, Sid. You have passed the Thirteen Gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Let the cards fall where they may. We begin. Fair Merith, I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. I'm sure you are grateful for that. That first moment, that glinting weapon, the call to action, to adventure, truly, there is nothing like it. Choose from these options. moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Your journey is well begun. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. A peasant's weapon? but effective nonetheless. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason.
You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Really? Is that what you're going to do? An ambush? Hardly fair, is it? Are you a woodsman turned warrior now? You have reached my first champion. A good man driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way, or stop them with your own counter. <laughs> to the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Shall we deal again? Ah, good. Now you understand the basics, we can begin in earnest. Your hero is returned to his beginning items. Our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet home of the members of my court. Time for you to face my undead army. Meet the Jack of Skulls.
New content awaits you. It will be awarded when you complete your run. I will add my own cards to the deck. How boring life would be without a little spice. You play for life and death. Prepare yourself. Running water protects against many things in myth. Generally, though, it's just a pain to get past. The token is yours. Well done. Given how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. Or perhaps we are merely cycling around the wheel and dipping into the same memories time and time again. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. It's a lump of iron on a stick. Not terribly subtle. Review your cards here. Here is all you have gained. Down once more, seeking the heart of it all. Many have reached this far. Further, in fact. I do not know if you have what it takes to do better than they did. Sure, that's the right approach. It lives in every game. It's that initial moment where things begin. I have worked on these cards all my days, and the canyon has been there from the outset.
I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Let the lizard men beware. All you need to do is find and kill the Jack of Skulls and we can progress. Our bandits are displeased with your challenges. you are grateful for that. You were such a fearsome adversary. I will bear that in mind. An excellent way to turn an injury into an asset. Armor protects you from damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? Impressed. Few select these sorts of weapons because nobody ever anticipates being in peril. Such misplaced confidence is usually their downfall. The Undead. 
Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness, an error, cheating. Shots from rifles cannot be deflected. You would do better to avoid them. Are you agile enough? <laughs> Well done indeed, but you have roused the dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Now our wager becomes more interesting. Will the tools you've earned suffice to address the challenges I pose? That is the question, is it not? Another round, and our game truly begins. A bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. No, she took up arms, organized her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one dealing it.
want to play on heart mode? Done. Make your choices.